And here's the trophy we won, the All-Stars Championship trophy. Fantastic stuff. Now, Razor then goes into the Fifth Wars. Now, the machines had a few tweaks here and there, a little bit of tuning here and there, a few little ideas incorporated. Great stuff. It's really ready to go this time, I tell you. Now, you may expect us not to be that nervous going into our first battle against Big Nipper. Great machine, great big titanium teeth on this thing. It could really work us over. I was nervous as hell, I tell you. I was outside, my guts were turning over. Vinny had to come out and console me a bit. The Big Nipper hopefuls, Harold and Mark Lum and Graham Dawson and Razor, of course. Simon Scott, Ian Lewis and Vinny Blood. Dead metals in the arena for the house robots, the pincer, the saw, the synergy between. And shunt, perhaps more brutal with the scoop and the diamond edged axe. Three, two, one. Razor there on the left hand side. Very quick start, but something has been broken on that initial onslaught on the Big Nipper. It's part of the self riding mechanism that has flown away from Razor, beset by mechanical problems in the UK Championships. The reigning world champions have never won the domestic title. Now they're trying to claw their way back into this fight. Causing destruction to Big Nipper. Biting their way through. But there you can see flailing. Useless now. Part of that unique self-writing mechanism. When you see Razor at its best, with a flourish in its performance, it is spellbinding. Big Nipper trying desperately to get away. Well, if you crush a beetle, it rains and rains and rains. And punishment raining down on Big Nipper now from Razor. Hoisting them into the air. Look at that, slicing in. Big Nipper onto the flames to burn out. What electrical control they have left. Slamming down. Well. The Nipper is big on resolve, if nothing else. One of its beetle-like jaws has been buckled upwards. Razor on the attack, and this is a very good and therefore very surprising first battle for Razor. I thought they'd stroll this against the new boys. So all credit to Graham Dawson at the controls of Big Nipper and Mark Lum at the weapons. On to the grinder at the side of the arena, the sparks fly, Big Nipper drives back on the Razor's, the heavier of the two machine. Razor's weight actually kept down by all those perforations you can see there. It's deliberate, it's not some mechanical mistake. Out comes Shunt with a push, dead metal in there as well. Down comes the beak of this part bird, part reptile. They think it's the coolest machine in the world, Simon Scott, Ian Lewis and Vinny Blood. Boys, you would. They shove it against the against the scoop of Shunt there. It being Big Nipper. Oh, and Shunt's diamond edge axe. The hardest material there is slicing into Big Nipper. So that allows Razor to release its own feet. You've been nipped. You have been nipped in the bud, more like, for Big Nipper. And Razor, despite the damage, and they'll need work in the pitch, go through. But it wasn't with the flourish we expected. Big Nipper counted out.